everyone hope you're all well so you're gonna have to just kind of excuse all of the like poor appearance in this video the bed's a mess i look like a mess and uh, i've got dribble on my sleeve because we're oh god that's really bad because we are in teething stage rory's here he's been so good all morning um, and i'm hoping it lasts because i really want to film a very very quick uh january mummy and baby favorites um i was hoping to make this video a bit more swish and have like cut-ins of us using the products but i just don't feel like it's going to happen because i'm filming this on the day that it needs to be published and also i need to do a blog post to go with it which i haven't done either so yeah this month um it's actually the first month that i'm doing mummy and baby favorites and it's also just baby favorites i suppose there is kind of one mummy product but yeah um it's just more baby favorites like i haven't really changed anything this month um to kind of take a preference to anything he's playing with his book yeah to take a preference to anything so yeah it's just kind of him really <laughs> um so the first thing is uh what can i take off him the first kind of thing for me which is a real lifesaver are these travel caps so these are for the dr browns do you want your book back sorry there it is these are for the dr browns bottles so if you are a dr browns user of bottles then you will know once you've put the formula in um, and you've screwed up the lid you've got the valve i've got a bottle here actually you've got the valve inside um which means that you can't shake the bottle to shake up the formula um without it going everywhere i know this is the same for a lot of bottles like i only use dr browns but from past bottles i know that the pressure makes the water uh, the milk come out the tea um, but with these like it literally just comes out of the cap and scolds your hands and you can't shake the bottle once the water is boiling so i recently bought these travel caps on amazon which were two pound 19 i think and they're probably the best two pound 19 i've ever spent it came with two but i normally use one when, when i'm making the bottles um but yeah i just use a screw it on shake the bottle for 10 seconds and then your vault formula is perfectly blended with the water oh are you looking at that it's really handy for us too because rory is on lactose free formula which is slightly thicker um so it kind of just helps us shake it out more because it just kind of needs like an extra shake are you looking at the wall the next one um so i never really was into bibs when i um like first had rory um i was gonna put bibs on my baby products you don't need but this week i have seen the bib requirement slip in um i really like these ones from newbie they are the newbie dribble bibs he is teething at the moment so he's dribbling a lot and it's kind of going all over his clothes and stuff um, and with these ones because they are so like thick oh, are you looking at the pictures it comes up like to his chin so it catches the dribble before it even like gets into his neck crawl so whilst normally with like the neckerchief bibs it comes down to here so it's kind of gone down his neck before it's even been caught in this so i really really like these uh they come with two patterns so they've got paws and you've got like cars and stop signs um they do only have like a girls and a boys thing for these dribble bibs though which is really annoying so they've only got the two patterns because i would like to get some more um different patterns but they have got the ones with the chew on the bottom i just haven't got we're not there yet i don't think so yeah so these ones are really really good another newbie product is this newbie tubey which is the only teething toy that rory's kind of sussed out and likes um so it's got like all little massages on it um, and it's kind of the only one that you can put in his mouth like rub on his gums and it makes him smile whilst with all other like teething toys he kind of like tries to spit them out or like pulls a really funny face oh do you want that pops out your way um he's looking at we've got some black and white pictures on the wall and he's he's liking them yeah so it's the only tea that he really likes i think it's like two pound fifty i picked this one up from boots they also have a red one um i don't i was gonna get another one because i'm just a bit excessive like that but i don't feel like i do need two but i am buying like lots of duplicates in my changing bag at the moment but yeah so that is the first tea that he is kind of taking a liking to it's also really soft like this bit's like silicone-y and this bit's like hard ah now it needs sterilizing but yeah he just kind of really likes that one the theme of teething uh, the next one is teething gel 
Oh, do you want picking up? Where's your box? Are you done with those black and white pictures now? Oh, it was so heavy. Here he is. Um, you've distracted me now. Yeah, so this is a teething gel. <laughs> I'm sick of him. Do you want to stand up? He's got no clothes on at the moment. Just your vest. Yeah, whilst on the theme of teething, it's a teething gel, so it's a Detanox one. Oh, I'm falling off the bed. Um, this is recommended to me by a friend, and I just think it works best. Um, I have been using, I bought yesterday the Ashton and Parson teething granules, I think they're called. Um, and I could not get the hang of how you give them like half a sachet each. So if you have any tips on that, then please do let me know because yeah, I really struggled to like take them up. Look at your belly. I really struggled to like split them in half. So yeah, any tips and let me know because I have heard, oh, we've dropped your tubie again. I've heard really good things about them. Um, but yeah, I just can't get the hang of it. But yeah, so at the moment we're using Detanox. Let me pick up your tubie. Oh, right at the moment with babies we are learning the art of distraction and we are doing so with black and white books um so we've got a couple of black and white books i did want to buy loads because he really likes them but he doesn't really know the difference between the patterns but i am like i said quite excessive so this is just one that i keep in my changing bag and um, it's just a cloth book which i think you can get i got this from wh smiths but you can also get it on amazon which i'll link down below i'll link everything down below um so yeah, so um, yeah, I keep it in my changing bag just for whenever he's being like a little bit antsy. If I'm out, like on Thursday, we did our first IKEA trip, and um, when he got like a little bit iffy, I just got it out and kind of gave it to him in the pram, and it distracted him for a good 15 minutes. He's also got a black and white thing like around his pram, like around the carry cot, but like I was really excited about it. Spent 10 pound on it primed delivered it i also left it and my mum's went back to go get it i was this desperate for it and excited to give it to him and he has he's noticed it like once i think should i chew my fingers yeah he's noticed it like once but the books he really does like they can he, they like crack the babies like he'll sit and watch that for eight like look at it for ages um what are you doing what else have i got without getting hair in my baby's face the next one is the Avino Baby uh, Barrier Cream. I really, really like this. I've only just started getting into barrier cream, like for his nap, well not only just, like for about four or five weeks now, since he started sleeping through the night, I've kind of realized the importance of putting barrier cream on him um, because I don't want him to sit all night in a wet nappy. Um, but I wasn't really that hot on it before because he's never had any problems with nappy rash or anything um, But I am going to do like a nappy essentials tips and hacks post really soon um, But yeah, but I really like the Aveeno one um, I've also tried uh, the Panthen and Sudocrem and this one And I've heard good things about Metanium but I've heard it's better for once they've got a rash I like this one at the moment because you get 100 mil so you get quite a lot for your money um but at the moment it is three pounds at the Tesco baby club whilst normally it's 6.99 so it's good value for money so I've bought three of them just to keep me going I don't know if I like it that much when it costs 6.99 if that makes sense but I just like that there's a lot in there whilst with the pseudocrem that I bought um it lasted for about a week um and that's not even using that one exclusively because I kind of have like one in one room, one in my changing bag, one in another room. So I just kind of mix it up. Um, so yeah, I just, I do really like the pseudocreme in the tube because it's the easiest to apply. Like it's not thick, like barrier cream is quite thick or pseudocreme one's really like thin. So it's like glides really nicely whilst, yeah, I do like the panthen too, but I just find that the hardest to spread. I also find this kind of in the middle. But yeah, it's good value if you pick it up in the Tesco Baby Club for three pounds. Uh, Six ninety nine. I'm not so sure, but I just like that you get quite a lot for your money. Ooh, Mwah. You gonna look at the camera? Oh, you dopey. <laughs> okay. This is kind of a mummy favourite, but it is baby related, so I think it falls more in baby category. And that is my We Made Me Wooty Wrap, which is so long, I can't... I've just dropped the tubie again. It definitely needs sterilising. Yeah, it's so long, I can't even get it in the, like, in this shot. 
But basically it's a very very long piece of material um, that you wear as a wrap to carry your baby. I bought this when Rory was four weeks I think and I bought it in grey when really I probably would have liked it in black. Um, but I absolutely love it. It's like my number one baby essential that I would recommend to anybody. It's a complete lifesaver. I barely ever wear it out. I mostly use it for around the house. Um, yeah, just to get anything done. There were some mornings when he was four weeks old that you couldn't even wash the bottles, like to make him a new bottle because he would just scream if you put him down. He became really clingy about four weeks, which is quite common for like babies. Um, so I bought that like in grey because it's the only colour that the shop had at the time. If I could like if I waited, if I was not as desperate as I was, I would have bought it in black online. But I just needed it like then and there because I was tearing my hair out one day because he just would not be put down at all. Um, there are still times now where he won't sit in his bouncer. Like like this morning, he was really good and quite happily let me like I've cleaned the bedroom apart from the bed obviously, and he was quite good and just like let me get on with it. But yeah, most mornings. Um, like some days he's not like that at all um it's also really handy like if you are going somewhere where you just don't want to take the pram like or like sometimes i'll want to just run across to tesco's which is just over the road um yeah and i won't want to like take the whole pram with me i'll just chuck him in the sling um just because it's easier he really likes having that like closeness to me oh, also when we went to ikea we didn't have room in the car to put the pram because we were putting stuff in so just taking the wrap was really handy because again like he doesn't want to be put down even though i put his car seat in a trolley like he wasn't happy he doesn't really like the car seat oh yeah, he doesn't really like the car seat so it's just handy to have the wrap and he sleeps in it really nicely he'll sleep in it for ages um he's kind of like a real like mummy's boy and like a bit fourth trimestery and just really likes to be close to me and my mum and now his dad he's turned into a bit of a daddy's boy um the angle of this is so wrong because <laughs> i'm not sat in the bed properly yeah so he's turned into a bit of a daddy's boy recently um but yeah it just it makes life so much easier it's the best 50 pounds i've ever spent on a baby product um i would get more like because i quite like like i normally keep this in my changing bag but i quite like to have it like well i don't really need more but i'd like more um yeah so that's probably the best 50 pounds I've ever spent. It's just a real lifesaver. And it's the first thing I say to like any new parent that they should get um, is a baby wrap. Even if they feel like their baby isn't clingy. Oh. Do you pop? All babies go through like clingier stages and they just won't be put down they just will be cuddled all the time so to get anything done even if it's like yeah like i say just crucial things like wash because like, i know people say housework can wait but crucial things like washing his bottles is really quite essential to him being alive <laughs> I managed to sort out my dodgy camera angle and have been feeding rory um so the last but not least product is ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da, this lemace tummy time mat so this is the like mat thing that they look at and then what makes this product quite unique is that this thing goes in the middle so they obviously lie on it like that and it spins round so they can look at all different type like bits on the mat rory has never been the biggest fan of tummy time that is so not uncommon let me get central that's not uncommon for babies like don't i don't know they're just not really asked about it but you are told a lot to do tummy time so i have a few little tummy time mats and stuff you're a bud but this one we're really liking at the moment um because he's dribbling he has dribbled all over it but yeah he just really likes it. it's interactive he really likes that he can spin i was really shocked that he could spin on it i didn't think it'd be there yet but i don't think he like, is doing it on purpose but i think he does quite enjoy it um so yeah he's, he'll spin around on it and yeah it's quite interactive like the little things on there like there's crinkly ones there's ones you can squeeze and rattle and stuff um so he really likes that i bought that when i was pregnant um just because again like you knew about tummy time and stuff um and got it out quite recently um because i gave it to him for christmas um and yeah i was really surprised that he liked it because after seeing how much he didn't really like tummy time um yeah i was surprised he did really like it um 
again yeah. i'm going to do a post on kind of how we've developed tummy time and got him into it a little bit more i think as your baby's kind of gross now he's three months and he's kind of out of like the really needy uh like adapting to the world stage he's trying to learn and really wanting to learn and enjoying taking things in like he's kind of really talking at the moment so i think that helps with tummy time that he's really wanting to have that independence to be able to lift his head up like he's, he's really good at lifting his head up to be fair um yeah to be able to want to lift his head up when he's on his tummy he kind of starts to kick to like make the movements to roll and he starts to like do his legs like to kind of make the first initiation to crawling so yeah so that oh you've just dribbled all over me i haven't even got a muslin handy okay <laughs> fail um so yeah so that is our january mummy and baby favorites like so there weren't really any mummy ones they were all baby products but Rory is boss now so that is oh there's a bib here that is pretty much life now let's mop up that dribble um so yeah I'm gonna try and do this each month well I will do these each month they're all scheduled in and stuff so yeah but um my plan is now I think to have videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday I think I think that's on my schedule so please stay tuned for that there won't be a set time it will just kind of be when they go live um but yeah, so go do favourites every month. Hopefully next month there'll be some more mummy products in there. Um, like, I don't know, some beauty and lifestyle stuff. Uh, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to our channel. It will mean the world to us. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! I just want to do a quick update um, from the end of this video. I just went into town and the thing that I was talking about that goes in this pram, the black and white thing. What are you doing? there he is i've completely changed my mind about because it's just been it's just safe for bacon basically he's finally noticed it and loved it he just stared at it for about half an hour um and also one thing i forgot to talk about was an ebook which i'll link i'll link everything down below an ebook called um carbon colic which i've just bought for 5.99 i read it in a night and it's so good at finding ways to calm colic like do you want to come over here pull you by your legs <laughs> oh Hey, Bubba. Yeah, it's so good at um, calming colic, basically. It gives all these new theories about... You're dressed now, aren't you? All these new theories about um, why babies have colic. Like, it's got things to do with labour and stuff, which makes a lot of sense. Like, after our labour, it talks about different types of colic and different ways to help them. I've only done one method so far out of it, and it's made such a big difference like if you follow our channel you know we've got we've had all kinds of like feeding not problems but like setbacks um so yeah so i really recommend that but like i said everything will be linked down below and um, but i just wanted to add those two in um to january favorites basically but now we are finally gonna actually sign off say bye bye say bye bye bye